Okay, welcome back to Ranch Simulator. We got uh, got all of our logs here, so they didn't disappear. And it looks like there's still trees down out there. Good. If you didn't catch the last episode, uh, the reason why I was concerned about that was because, well, they had disappeared on me. So let's go take a peek at our at our hive and see what our percentage is. Uh, 14% because we did extract last time. Uh, this time we did a lot of woodwork last episode so I think we're going to kind of avoid that this time. Uh, we're going to go check our oil rig and see how that's doing. Um, I'm going to leave all the table saw and, and the smoker and stuff in on the trailer because we might be able to use it. Okay, um, let's head to the head to the oil rig. Uh, actually, wait a minute, hold on. Let me uh, check something real quick. Well, maybe not real quick, if I could... There we go, yeah, those are empty. I'm gonna run to the gas station first. Hopefully I've got enough gas money. Yike! Gas station first, and then the hardware. No, no, not the hardware. So the oil rig. Out of the way. <laughs> I guess I don't need to bring the trailer if I've only got one oil drum. fill the truck too yeah because it was pretty much topped off so okay well I have been playing around with the um uh, city skylines two I did repurchase it now that I've got a good computer it runs okay well it runs actually really good um, unfortunately the uh, video quality like the the settings you have to have it on for to function properly it it doesn't look all that great like city skylines one looks a hundred times better like visually and uh, because it just there's no no grass it's kind of just all flat surfaces with the low setting I don't know if if you put it on high settings do you get actual grass and stuff like you can get in city sidelines one and be a lot better um visual uh, trees the trees in city skylines two are ugly as all get out they're just like boxes it's they like these these trees look good. You know, that's what a tree is supposed to look like, not what they do in City Skylines 2. You know, it, it might be better once they get things optimized where we can actually use higher settings, even with the high-end computer. I haven't really got too in-depth with it yet. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm playing, I'm going to do a playthrough on my own without recording first so I can kind of get the, the gist of it first so I'm not just you know stumbling all over the place trying to figure the game out before I start showing anything so we will see it's it's fun it's a fun game it's just the the visuals are incredibly disappointing especially after their very first if you saw my very first video about City Skylines 2 uh, about how their trailer looked like looked incredible because it was a CGI lie to us video where they are showing uh, visuals that they don't isn't possible for them you know even the poor quality is rough on everybody's computers 
me to NASA style high end like million dollar computer probably to run it <laughs> decently if, if we had the graphics that we deserve for a game like that which doesn't really make much sense why can't they do graphics like like that when they can do graphics like that for like Red Dead to Redemption you know if you get what I'm saying Let's uh, sleep through the night so we're not trying to fight around in the dark. Okay, let's see what we've got. Nice. And that, that hopefully it processes like through the whole night. Hopefully it doesn't like shut off. It, it only processes at a time that we're like awake. Ooh, I actually had more than a barrel's worth in there. What is our oil? Oh, our gas isn't too bad. Guess I could leave that gas can here. Take a run over to the store sell this oil and then try to think of what we want <clears throat> next do I want to start working on a fence a building because I want to have a fence before I get any animals stop time in this like horrible <laughs> Out of the way. This is more of a road rage simulator. <laughs> yeah, next time I'm not bringing my trailer until I have more, more need for it. Now, if I was to sell, how much are they going to give me for one of those saws? Because I could, if they give me enough, I should be able to get a, one of the better saws that processes the wood a lot faster. If I sell it, oh, only 75 bucks. Yeah, that. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're not selling that. Let's sell the oil. Did anybody else notice I had a dollar something left? In <laughs> had dollar fifty-seven or dollar fifty-four or something like that left in money. Dollar fifty-four. <laughs> okay, sell. So. Okay. Oh, I was gonna look and see what else I could buy. If I got three saws going, that would definitely uh, make making the wood go by quicker. But I really don't need that. Let's see, what do we need? A small trailer. That uh, would be yours. Let's see fuel truck, which tank's not going to do us any good right now, so we don't have the money. Um, let's see. Grab another frame, maybe. Another oil drum, which really wouldn't make much difference right now. It seems like every time I go there, I barely have enough to fill one. Uh, if we did a couple more gas cans, maybe. I don't want to buy any of this stuff. Should I buy another? Get three of those going? Yeah, no. I think I'm just gonna save, save up the money for right now. We'll start stockpiling a little bit. 
don't really need any of this other stuff. Except for maybe a... Actually, I'm going to buy a couple more frames. Just in case I don't... I don't want to come across the hive and not be able to pick it up. So I want to make sure I have enough. I wish it would let you stockpile them in your hand. I know you can stack them. Oh, jeez. Okay, I know you can stack them when they're, like, here. But I want to be able to stack them in your hands. You know, like, grab all of them. You should be able to carry more than one empty frame. <laughs> you know? each frame weighs a couple ounces and if you're not strong enough to carry a couple ounce frame you shouldn't be beekeeping you probably shouldn't be walking or, <laughs> or able to walk around come on I saw it for a split second come on there it is okay I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop this trailer back at home. Actually, yeah, we'll drop the trailer back at home and then we'll go see if we can find some more beehives. Ah, oh, come on. Here we go. I do want to get some more woodwork done, but that whole last episode was cutting up trees, so I don't really want to do that two episodes in a row. And we can start getting stuff mapped out for the way we want it around the ranch. See, I have backed a trailer up going like this before. Not really intentionally. I was in a really bad mood. And I did it. Well, it bent my trailer hitch. <laughs> yeah, so I don't recommend doing that. It was shortly after my dad had passed away and I was not in a good place and the trailer was frustrating the crap out of me. <laughs> and I tried backed it up like that because it just wasn't turning sharp enough for me backing up and yeah, bent the trailer hitch. I still haven't bought a new one. I don't really use the trailer very often, so not a not a big deal. sure if there's going to be any hives out there because I have gotten quite a few in the last couple episodes so oh my goodness I go to click it and it's like it moves just enough to not set up
6 o'clock in the morning, so don't mind my voice again. It's usually a time that I film at 6 in the morning or later at night. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to leave... No, no, I'm not. I was, I was going to say I'm going to leave a couple of them in the truck, but I'm not going to be running the truck around four bees. Because then I'll have to swap my smoker around. Come on. <laughs> just got a new game. I'm gonna, I've never played it. It's called The Edge of Survival. I'm going to leave one in there. Um, it, was, it's on, it was on Steam, um, on sale. It's got good, fairly good reviews. So after I'm done making this episode, I'm going to film an episode of that. Um, so be sure to watch for it. We'll see what, um, what the game is like. It's kind of like a, a survival crafting game, hunt, fish, you know, farm kind of thing. I don't know what the survival part of it is, if it's just to uh, uh, survive food, you know, heat, because it says make a warm cabin, um, things like that. So there's crafting, crafting tools, crafting equipment um, for survival. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how the, see how it is, see if it's something that would interest anybody. And, Hopefully it's a cool game. We'll get another get another series going of another game. I know I've already got a lot of games running right now. Um, best way to get a next episode because I, I watch for the like the amount of views. Yeah, there, I, there, you know, I might get 100 views on the video, but you know, if I don't get you know equivalent. You know, a decent amount of likes and comments on the video also I'll be less likely to make the next episode first you know um, I generally go by the most comments most views uh, for the next episodes uh, when it comes to sunken land it's just because I love the game because <laughs> it's fun you know it doesn't get all that great it's not that great for likes and comments and views and all that stuff, but you know what, the game is a ton of fun. It's the one I actually look forward to the most when it comes to making videos. As of right now. And then we'll be getting into the um, City Skylines 2 once I get a little more familiarized with the way the game functions. This is usually a good area. I get quite a few hives in this area. Kind of like one right there. This is going to be one of the ones where I need to use the cart to get under it to be able to pick it up. Oh, oh good. Sweet. Hey, not too often we get a successful bee hunt, right? <laughs> now that we got bees in the cart, it makes it a little bit more difficult. We, we're hearing buzzing from the hive that we already have. Kind of just want to scan the trees because, you know, you look for that white big white hornet nest oh that's what I was gonna buy I was gonna buy a cooler so I have somewhere to put meat Let's go do that. I'm just going to run down to the hardware store. Let's 
driving the trees for a little while. <laughs> We're gonna try some other areas for hives because I, I have been finding them there a lot. But there's gotta be hives in other spots. I know something up by the general store. There's hives up there. We can look a little more around that farm we were just by. But I'm seeing a lot of deer and stuff, so. And I definitely want to get cooler oh I can't remember do can we buy bullets here or do we have to go to the general store yeah general store we're gonna go by the general store anyways to take a look around for for bees oh I always do that Oh my goodness, I put it in my cart and forget that I didn't actually purchase it. Until you click on that. Now it's mine. Okay, now, there we go. So now I have something to put meat in when I get a deer, bear, a wolf, or whatever. Now heading to the general store. Yeah. I'm excited to try that Edge of Survival. It, it's a different kind of animated um, animation. It's kind of like a comic strip animation. It's got the darker lined around the outsides of the of the characters and stuff. I don't know what the enemies are for the survival part, though. It, in the preview that I saw on Steam, it didn't really look like it was a, like a zombie or anything like that. I'm kind of done with that for right now, you know, the whole zombie apocalypse survival kind of game. Here we go. I just want to make sure I have enough bullets. I'm just going to buy three. And, oh, you can buy bee stuff here, too. Composter, don't need any of that stuff yet. So we'll hold on to our money for right now. See, there might be bees up in this area, too, so we're going to drive around back in there. Just to see. Trying to listen for the bees too. Hopefully the developer of this is considering selling bees at the store. Having packaged bees would be an awesome addition. But the chances of a developer watching my video probably kind of small. I'm trying to look around slowly so I don't, because you get that jerky looking motion. See, I don't even know if this is an area where bees would spawn at all. Wait a minute, is that... That's my farm down there. I 
don't think I've seen it from this angle. So where am I usually at when I drive through down over there, isn't it? I've never really like, stopped and looked. That's pretty cool. Let's go back pretty far back there, don't they? Hopefully I'm I'm seeing everything. I'm not missing it. If I do miss one, you see it and I don't. Be sure to let me know in the comments with the timestamp. Kind of a general area what trees you saw it in. We're just gonna drive through the woods because uh better way to find the hives if you actually drive down in here. Cause it might be on the back side of a tree. You could drive right past it. So I'm going to try to see if I can look at all sides of the trees. By the, that farm that we can do crap that we can do missions for and see if uh, any of there's any hives over there because I did five find a couple over there in other episodes. Scanning the grounds. Be sure to look close also, just in case if I'm missing it. Okay, what is this trail? tree that I found one in one time. So I think there would be others in this general area. Some of these 
these areas, I don't even know if it's possible for them to spawn in here, or is it random throughout the whole map? Doesn't matter what tree, just randomly it'll spawn on any of them. This map, it seems to be that spot back up in, back up over in that area there. They seem to spawn in the most this game. Do a little hunting, I guess. Let's drive up here and kind of drive in the back of here. Excited to try that game, Edge of Survival. out for wolves and yes yeah, there goes one right there it just looks like it just killed a deer yeah, I'm hearing my hive that I got in the back of the truck there After that deer. <laughs> that was a good shot. That wasn't. Oh, did I do it again? I did it again. Everybody's probably yelling at me. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're all yelling at me right now. I can hear it. I can hear it echoing from the past. <laughs> you put all the bullets in the tr in the freaking cart and never purchased them after I had got that saying that when I was at the hardware store about how I make that mistake all the time <laughs> I don't believe it uh, I purposely bought put didn't buy them Put them in the cart. <laughs> oh man, I could hear you all, man. You're like, oh my gosh. As I'm driving away, you're going, no! I can just feel it. Turn around, go back. You didn't buy them yet. You <laughs> put them in the freaking cart. It's like, placing your order for Amazon and thinking it's going to come tomorrow and then you're like, okay, wh why isn't it here? And then all of a sudden realize that, hey, I'm an idiot. I didn't actually hit order. Oh, come on. Stinking thing. You know what? Saving. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why do I only have two bullets left? Plus, I'm going to run out of gas, too. Looks 
because I didn't remember to put my gas can in this in the cart either. In the UPS and the uh, UTV. I'm gonna go grab another gas can. So I have one in here, so I don't have to have the one out of the truck. Cart order. Why me? <laughs> oh man. I know it's like you get those situations where it's like, you know, you're you're sitting there screaming at the screen, you're like, no, it's right there. I do that a lot when I'm watching somebody else's video. It's like you see something and you know you know why they miss it because you know you got a lot going on when you're recording these things. It's like you're you're trying to make it entertaining and communicating with people and and you end up uh, just not your focus has to be split all the time, so it makes it harder to pick up on every little thing. Okay, we're gonna first go to the gas station so we don't run out of gas in this thing. Cause I wasn't looking at my gas gauge and also I looked down and I'm like, oh man, almost a quarter tank. And then we can at least cut through and maybe find some bees along here somewhere. Cause that big field next to the right of us was usually an area where we find bees. Could be some around behind the gas station here too. appreciate everybody watching. I do hope you enjoy the episodes. just spent all the money on that um t on gas and gas cans let's drive up this way and kind of I like to drive and get behind the trees too and kind of look back on them because you never know if the I could be right on the other side of the tree and you're not looking at it. These are supposed to respawn after three days, so it's only been a couple since I picked up a couple hives over here and the one that I just got off the tree up there. Seems to be the best area for the hives.
Okay, now back to Mr. General Store. any uh, more oil spots. I still haven't gone online and checked yet. Oh, wait a minute. Is it not? Oh, now I don't have enough money. Oh, I could sell this meat. I, how did I get... Oh, I do have... Okay. Okay, now I've got... Oh, good. Wait a minute. I do have three boxes of bullets. Wait, what? Why did it show I only had two when I went to load my gun? Yeah, see, it's six of two. But I've got two boxes. Or are they sitting out there and I just never picked them up? Oh, yeah, I did purchase them. I just... They blend right into the floor. That's what happened. Okay, I, I was just like that. Now it shows. There we go. Now we got 74. Shoes. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't have my air mattress on me, do I? No, I don't. There's a. Wait a minute. Can we save at the signs? Like at the hardware store sign? Oh, auction. This is the auction one. Wait a minute, did it just cost me 50 bucks to enter this and I don't have any money? Oh, I don't believe it. I think I just... And wait a minute, it took me back here? Oh, jeez. Now my... Where is my card at? It's up by the... Okay, well, I think we're going to end the episode right here. I'm going to go get my cart. I'm not taking you on that. That's going to be a long run. i got to run all the way back up to grab my cart up by the hardware store. Okay, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if you saw any beehives that I didn't catch. Um, next episode, we'll probably do a little more log work and start laying out some plans for... for uh, fencing and buildings and things like that on the property once we get some more of these complete trees cleaned up and stuff and by that time I'll have my cart back and I'm, gonna, I'll, I'm just going to drive back and save on my mattress uh, once I get my cart back after running all the way up to the hardware store which I hope I'm going the right way yeah great general store okay thank you so much for watching I will talk to you in the comments like and subscribe.